Hi everybody, Sharon from Vivid Days. Thank you for choosing to spend some time with me. On today's video, I'm going to show you how I... <laughs> on today's... <laughs> Ooh. Hi everybody, Sharon from Vivid Days. Thank you so much for choosing to spend <laughs> the fifth time trying this. Start again. Hi, we're Sharon from Vivid Days. Thank you for choosing to spend some time with me today. Today's video, you're going to see a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I create my runes and my dominoes. I've had quite a few requests for it and somebody wants a custom-made set with black and hot pink. So I hope you're going to enjoy that. Uh, an absolutely loyal supporter of my art and uh, thank you. <laughs> you know who you are. Other than that, um, yeah, if you want to see a tutorial on anything, let me know. Um, if you want me to work in the same colour scheme, let me know. But um, like, subscribe, share if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell if you want to know about future videos of mine. If you want to showcase your art, we've got a lovely art community in my Facebook group and there's a link in the description. And also visit my Etsy store. I'm really slow at putting my work up there. But there might be some treasures there that you enjoy. But other than that, keep safe, keep well, keep creating. And I will try and mix this video up so you get a little bit of music, a little bit of commentary and find some time to relax. Anyway, I'll see you at the end of the video. Bye bye. Hope you're feeling very relaxed. So where are we with the project? The resin I'm using is Ruba Vista Stream. Now the stream is a very long curing resin that really should be in deep casting. Now the reason I prefer to use this for moulds, and it's a personal preference, it's not really designed for that, is you've got hours upon hours before it even starts to set. So I mixed it up and I'll let it set for over an hour to make sure every bubble had gone. And you can see that I'm using a syringe. Now, a syringe is a great way for you to be precise with applying your resin and ensuring there's no extra air bubbles going into it unless it's at the end and you see it just throff away in there. And I'm continuing my love affair with Resinate pigments. You saw me come in with the black and now I'm applying my fuchsia and the pale lilac. Now the fuchsia and the pale lilac are from their summer collection and they are opaque. And to start with, I'm trying to be very precise and trying to get them half and half. That's what I had in my mind's eye originally. But people that's worked with resin or fluid art, you have to evolve and you have to adapt with how your resin's responding. And once I let go of the precision I was trying to get and I just started to go with the flow, I decided, do you know what? These are still going to be a set even if they're not precise. And that's where I started to just explore and have fun. And I think that this gave some really great effects. Now, this again was done in two halves. So the first half was done in the black and I let it set and my moulds were only filled halfway. And then I've come in and I'm now applying again the stream. So 
what I found is when you're dealing with colours like this and you're mixing them together, because the stream is taking, you know, a day to sort of cure, so and sort of, stop saying all these filler words, Sharon, um, the colours are kind of continue to bleed and move around. And that's where I feel you get these really nice floaty feelings at the end because it's um, it's just curing slowly over time. I don't think I can articulate it well, but you get the drift. Anyway, I'm going to leave you for a little bit, play some music, and then I'll come back and talk. So I'm going to put Sharon's Dodgy FM back on for you. But before I do that, you can see where I'd overfilled and committed. And, and when you're trying to dome something, there's a there's a tipping point where if you apply it just too much, you're going to get a leakage. Now, I just have a little cotton board and I take up uh, some of the excess and it's all good. Um, and another thing is when you're working on molds like this and it's going to be domed, make sure that it's on a board so you can transport it. Um, without getting a mess all over because I've done it before where I filled up my moles, tried moving them and then it spills all over and nobody wants that. Anyway, I'm going to put the music on. You're going to see me doing the same process with the dominoes. Bye bye. How lush is that back? I just love the organicness and how each and every one of them is unique, but yet they're the same. 
Anyway, you saw me on the runes. One had a hair on it. I'm very disappointed with myself with that because normally I check. But when I lifted up the area that was protecting them, uh, one must have got in there. All it took was a couple of swipes with a sandpaper and then I just put a tiny little bit of UV resin over it and that was enough to fix it. The reason I put my moulds on top of the mould, no, the reason I put my dominoes and my runes on top of the mould is just to help me protect the surface area while I know I'm going to be working on them. Anyway, we're on to the next stage here. This is where they start to come to life. And I'm using Decor Art Fuchsia Pink. The reason I'm using that is mainly for the colour, but also you use it with dot art. And the thing that I'm applying this with is also a tool that you use for dot art. So you find that it's a bit fluid. You could use any colour you've got, really. Uh, and the reason I like the dot art uh, pen is because, I don't know, it's just easier to put in than a paintbrush, in my opinion. But... I've done all the other ones before this, but I just kept one of each to one side just so you can see in real time. And look, I'm a messy worker. It's very hard sometimes. I was watching a movie while I was doing this and I kept missing the point. Or should I say missing the hole? So I'd just come around and clear it off. But don't stress too much because there is a polish that you use to get that off later. The only downside to this black, it's beautiful. It's a high shine, but it's not very forgiving as far as if your mold has any scratches in there or anything like that. You can see it on most resin, but on black, it's it's definitely something to be to take into consideration if you want perfection. Now my resin is flat. There's no obvious scratches or dints, but there is. I can see, depending on the lights, you'll see. You can see little marks in there, but somewhere it's just built into the resin. How about? I hope I'm articulating myself, but I still think that it's beautiful and I love it. Anyway, let's have a look what's on the next day. So I suppose I want to share my thoughts. So originally I was going to just have the fuchsia pink, let it dry and that would be enough. But because it dried quite matte, it just didn't feel like it had the oomph that the bottom had. And with the... Um, ruins I would have needed to apply three coats for you to really see it so I decided to come in and add some bling which made it pop and then I love the top as much as I did the bottom now if you look at the dominoes this is where you can see how the deco art is really good for doing dominoes so you basically like do what you would do with dot art you drop you <laughs> drop your ball in there let it cover and absorb it pick it up and then you need just one or two dabs and it just puts it into those holes beautifully it's a little bit more tricky on the runes because of the shapes and you're not just popping it in you've actually got to uh, go around a certain area anyway I'm going to put some music on you're just going to see me uh, come in add some glitter and that's done with glue in the same process as you're seeing me doing now sprinkling the glitter I left it for a day I came back and then I polished it and then I made my boxes that you can get from Amazon and package them all up and and I suppose that's most of the commentary that you really need to know and the rest is you can just see as I'm going along and at the end there'll be a little debrief but I hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing this process of me talking out loud if there is anything I noticed or I forgot as we're going through I'll add the commentary but other than that thumbs up subscribe share comments are always welcome remember to hit that notification bell and just want to say thank you for all of your support and I hope wherever you are in the world you are safe and well but I'm going to put Sharon's dodgy FM on again and hopefully you will relax and enjoy speak to you soon bye bye
truc.
Hey everybody, Sharon from Vivid Days. We are here for a view and I hope you're going to be able to see the beauty of this pink and this glitter and the contrast against the black. I'm going to run my torch over and see if I can get a little bit of that bling to sparkle. I don't know if it'll pick it up. One thing with this black is it's a beautiful black, but every time you create with them and there is any imperfections on your mold, it will come through and I still think it's beautiful. It's because it's just that high shine. But before we start on picking out the things you could do better, Sharon, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. That's how you help my channel out. Let me know your thoughts in this colour scheme. And also, if you want to showcase your art or creations, make sure you do pop over to the Facebook group. It's a lovely community and lots of people there that love to help and support and share ideas. And other than that, let me know what you think. I think I've said that already. Anyway, let's go in and show you a little bit more of what I enjoy. So the colours on these, these working together were just stunning. And what I love is that each one of these has a different background. So I'll quickly show you, but I don't know if you can see. If you see, now that's had a polish and everything. And certain angles it looks really clean but you can see those little scuff marks even after I've polished them but the resin itself is is smooth it's just the, the nature of this high shine but look at that little glitter so the reason I added glitter in there when I originally put my pink in there there's still little bits of glitter everywhere I think I'm gonna have glitter everywhere for a little while my workstation everywhere but I I added the pink and I just wasn't happy it just didn't have that I don't know positive energy and just a little bit of that glitter on top really helped it so it was a little bit of labor of love i had to go through with the toothpick add a little bit of glue and then added my glitter but i think it was worth it but let's have a little look at some of these backs and how this bleeds together some of these pigments now so look at the differences that you see in some of these backs it's almost like a little webbing and so they are a set even though each one is different they belong together and I just think they're so cute and so feminine and girly I'm going to put them the right way once I've done them just to prevent any more scratches or anything just from the glitter touching them but look at that as well oh I just love so I hope the client's going to really enjoy them And I decided to create some dominoes as well with the same theme. I think the dominoes are just going to be kept for myself. And I've got my boxes there that I put them in. Uh, and that is available from Etsy. Look at that. Anyway, probably fast forward it now so that you can just see me do this and save you some time. So I managed to get rid of the hair that was on one of them with lightly sanding it a couple of times and then I came back and I added a tiny little bit of UV resin. But come back and visit me again soon. I hope you didn't mind me sharing you this video. If you do have any custom made colours you want me to do, let me know. But I do have a lot of work on at the minute so it might take me a little while. So um, just forgive me for that. But I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.